thanks everyone for joining us at 11. Here's our chief meteorologist, Dan Sianca. He's not only just breaking down what's left of your Wednesday night, but mm -hmm. also looking ahead into what you can expect tomorrow. We're going to go through a very detailed minute-by-minute -minute Wednesday night forecast for all of you who are about to head out on the streets and... That's probably none of you, but we'll take a look at what you can expect moving forward. Here is our sunset tonight from Salinas. Had some nice color in the sky as the sun was heading down, courtesy of some high clouds that had just rolled their way on into the region this evening. Take a look at some high temperatures from today. It was warm out there. Yeah, we can actually say warm. Highs were warmer than normal for this time of year. In Salinas, for example, the normal high this time of year is 68. So we were about five degrees above normal. Coralitos was our hot spot at 74. It was a pretty good sized tie for second place. Salinas, uh, Watsonville, Santa Cruz, Hollister. Oh, not Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz was 69. Watsonville, Hollister, Salinas, all at 73 today. Soledad at 72. Seaside at 70. Santa Cruz and Monterey tied at 69. And the cool spot was a tie between Priest Valley and New Idria at 61 degrees. Not too bad out there. It's getting chilly out there tonight, though. We're down into the 30s in Boulder Creek and down into Fort Hunter Liggett. As we look at our temperatures around the bay, we're mostly in the 40s. Those temperatures will get a little bit cooler overnight with the dry air mass in place. There is some insulation with some high clouds passing through, but not much. They're pretty thin. They're not going to do much to hold any warmth in, but you can see them moving through at the moment. There are a few low clouds offshore, but they haven't made it ashore, and they may tomorrow later in the day, but I don't expect much overnight. In the meantime, just to these high clouds coming through out of the west, it's kind of a blocked up weather pattern right now. We do have a ridge off to our north and a weak area of low pressure to our south. We had been talking about some strong winds across uh, Southern California. The Santa Ana winds were really cooking today. Those have uh, eased this evening and will continue to do so. However, we'll probably return by Friday or Saturday. So the, we're kind of in this blocked up pattern where a couple different weather systems will help start that offshore flow. Again, that's going to occur locally here as well and will bring a little bit of wind and warmer temperatures toward the weekend. But in the meantime, we're kind of on the opposite side of that swing. A little bit cooler weather as we head over the next couple of days as our low level winds shift back on shore. Future cast overnight just showing mostly clear skies. We will still see scattered high clouds passing through which should lead to a nice sunrise tomorrow morning. So if you have a camera ready and you know you, you didn't go to San Francisco and have it stolen from you, maybe just use a phone and then grab a picture of that sunrise tomorrow morning. Should be pretty nice. And then during the day tomorrow, we'll see scattered high clouds continuing to pass through. And those can actually get thick at times. Those actually might reflect enough sunlight out that it will affect our heating tomorrow. So I'm expecting high temperatures to be a little bit cooler despite the relatively warm air mass aloft. As I mentioned, tomorrow night, potentially also some low clouds rolling back in, and they may appear as some fog late tomorrow night on the south side of the bay, so keep an eye out for that. So we look at our temperature forecast for tomorrow. Here is what I'm expecting. It will still be a potentially frosty morning in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys. In fact, I do expect patchy frost in the valley, so if you're in a low sheltered area that has seen frost often this week, you're going to see it again tomorrow morning. Although the clouds sometimes do mess with that a little bit. Some patchy frost is possible. Highs returning to the upper 60s, though, tomorrow afternoon. Down on the coast, a little bit cooler for your highs. 66 expected in Santa Cruz downtown tomorrow. Down to the east shore of the bay, expecting lows in the upper 30s to low 40s. Highs back to the mid 60s in Watsonville and Salinas. A little bit warmer in our northern inland valleys. And on the peninsula, you'll be a little bit cooler than you were today, mostly because of an on onshore flow and the increased amount of clouds. 64, your high in Monterey is actually where you should be for this time of year. Farther to the south we go, and you'll see high temperatures in the Salinas Valley, ranging from 66 in Gonzales to 71 in Bradley. Everyone else in between, upper 60s for the most part. A little bit of frost possible in our southern valleys once again overnight. And we do have some fluctuations in our temperatures in the coming days as well. It'll be even cooler on the coast Friday. We'll have a bit of a rebound this weekend with temperatures returning back to the low 60s. Depending on how strong those offshore winds get, we might have to warm things up for you on Saturday. Of course, we'll be keeping an eye on that for you. And we're also keeping an eye on that rain potential next week. And if you missed the very beginning weather segment in our show tonight, I am tracking a weather system that should arrive around Tuesday of next week. Models have been consistent in showing it near us but they've been on and off as far as whether it's gonna bring us rain. And it has been trending a little drier today. Either way, we're gonna watch that for you. Best timing is gonna be Tuesday of next week again. Inland areas, uh, we'll see slightly cooler temperatures on Friday as well, but you'll see those gusty offshore winds over the hills Saturday, which will warm us up through the weekend. However, the drier air returning 
will make for some cold mornings. So warmer highs, colder lows, that's how the dry air works. And we're going to watch for those rain chances next week. Anna, stay tuned to the forecast. All right, Dan, we're looking forward to that.